News Now reporter Marco Rowe went missing on purpose to help with a training drill for the Butte County Search and Rescue Team. She shows us how the canine unit prepares for the real deal. We are going to have you go out and hide for a couple of the search dogs, so you're going to be a trailing subject. Butte County Search and Rescue team members spend hundreds of hours training, even the four-legged team members, and I got the chance to participate in the canine training to understand how the searches work. Okay, so our dogs wear a GPS collar and we have a GPS unit. We are able to see the dogs and see their track. So if we are given an assignment to clear a particular area, where we walk is not where necessarily the dogs walk. The first dog to train is Spinner, who's practicing her trailing skills. She'll lock onto a sample of my scent and then come find me. So we use that for lost people like dementia, children, um, someone that's lost that you want that particular scent, that's what the dog's going to find. And after giving a sample, I was off. And after a couple minutes of laying down my trail, Spinner was geared up and ready to go. So when we come to an open area with a turn, scent gets dispersed in a wide range. And so what Spinner is doing is checking negatives. And while Spinner was trying to find me, I could find her, since I was given a GPS tracker to see how close she was to finding me. Okay, she's going to check. So they, they double check that they're right. Mm -hmm. If you make a mistake on a trail, yeah. you know, you're really off. So see the double checking? She got a negative going that way, you didn't go that way, so now she's confirmed it was this way. So it looks like she is almost on my scent. Um, she should be approaching. Oh. You did it! <laughs> As you can tell, Spinner was very excited to find me. Next was the area training with team member Johnny Taft and his dog Walker. So he's trained to find um, if someone is alive or deceased in his area. Before finding me, Walker found a t-shirt used for the cadaver training and shortly after finding that and assessing the area, he was able to locate me in minutes. <laughs> And after all the hard work, it was playtime, which actually helps with the training. It, you make it a big game, and with game, um, they're gonna, if it's a game, they learn faster. The repetition is less than what it takes on a normal learning skill. Like, so if you're learning a certain skill, if it's a play, you're gonna remember it. Your body's gonna remember it. Frances says she and the handler spend hundreds, if not thousands of hours training these dogs. And while it may sometimes feel like a game for them, they'll always be prepared for a real search and rescue mission. In Chico, I'm Margot Rowe for Action News Now. Coverage you can count on.